Hello, welcome to Pinder Kinder, where we love learning together. I am Mrs. Pinder, and I am glad you are here. Who else is here? Oh, Caroline and Ava, hello. Kingston and Jameson and Dylan, thank you for learning with us today. Are you ready to start the way we always do with a song? We have a new song this week called Down by the Bay. It has rhyming words. When we sing today, I want you to think, can you think of a word that rhymes with duck? Okay, those are some good ones. Let's sing those. Can you think of a word that rhymes with snail? Okay, let's sing. Down by the bay where the watermelons grow, back to my home I shall not go. For if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen a duck driving a truck down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, have you ever seen a snail getting the mail down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow? Back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Have you ever seen a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay. Great job. Keep thinking of new verses for that song. We'll sing it again tomorrow. Today, we are thinking about how you can stay healthy. One way you can stay healthy is by staying clean. Are you staying clean? Are you washing your hands? Great job. Our friends at Scholastic.com have two books about staying clean. The nonfiction book is called Keeping Clean, and it has lots of ways that you can keep clean. The fiction book is one of my favorites. It's a book I had when I was a little girl, and then my children had, and I have read to kids when I was a grown-up. It's called Harry the Dirty Dog. Now, Harry is a character. This book is fiction, but at the beginning of the book, he is a white dog with black spots. He's a happy little dog, but then he gets so dirty that he turns into a black dog with white spots. You are going to want to read this book to find out what happens to Harry the Dirty Dog. It's an excellent book. We're going to talk about Harry again later at Pinder Kinder, so don't forget about Harry the Dirty Dog. You already know that book? I thought I had that book at my house. I looked everywhere, but I must have checked it out from the library. I love the library. So we're thinking about washing our hands, and I have a song that will help you. Sometimes we wash our hands, and we're like, done. And that is not enough time to get the germs off. So when we play outside, or we pet our animals, or we go places, we get things on our hands that are called germs. We can't see them, but they could make us sick. So we want to wash our hands for about one or two minutes. And that's a long time. So we can sing songs to make those minutes go by quickly. You could sing the happy birthday song two times, or you could sing this song two times. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Soap will make them clean. Scrub the germs all away. Germs go down the drain. Again, wash, wash, wash your hands. Soap will make them clean. Scrub the germs all away. Germs go down the drain. And when we're washing, we want to wash between our fingers on the fronts of our hands, on the backs of our hands, all around our thumbs. That reminds me of something. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Here's my finger, here's my thumb. Fee, fi, fo, fum. My finger's gone and so's my thumb. 
don't forget to wash your thumb. Make a mountain, get Johnny. Don't forget to wash in between, just like when we say Johnny. Whoops, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Whoops, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Whoops, Johnny, Johnny, whoops. Wash all the parts of your hands. Are you going to wash your hands with soap and water? Great job. I knew you would. When you are keeping clean, it helps keep you healthy. I was wondering, hmm, what are some other things you can do to stay healthy? Hmm. Oh, that was a good sentence. Someone said, I can eat fruit. They said two sight words. Let's say that sentence. I can eat fruit. Oh, you already got your paper and pencil. You know we want to write some sentences. Those are two sight words. Will you think, what can you do to stay healthy? Let's write a nice sentence. I, finger space. If we squish can right up, someone will think it's a compound word. It, it is not a compound word. It's two words. I, this is a sight word, can. Now, I want you to write your own sentence right now. What can you do to stay healthy? If you need to, pause the video and write a nice sentence. Later, you could write a whole book of all the things you can do to stay healthy. Oh, you can go to bed early and get good sleep. I love that sentence. Very nice. What else can you do? Oh, you can get exercise. Very nice. So if you can't do a lot of exercise, you might be able to go in your backyard and get exercise. You might be able to do some exercise in your living room or your playroom. Very nice. What else can you do to stay healthy? Oh, brush your teeth. Yes, we talked about that. You can brush your teeth. What else can you do? Yes, let's write that sentence. I can wash my hands. Five words, five fingers. Say it again. I can wash my hands. We already have I and can. My is also a sight word. It has a Y. The Y is making the I sound. It's acting like a vowel. Write my. Can you show me your sentence? I am so proud of you. We do not need a capital letter. It, this is not anyone's name. It's not at the beginning. I can, oh, oh no, we forgot wash. Now you can, I'm just gonna cross it out. I can wash, we need the word wash. My. That's why writers go back and reread to find out if we make a mistake. Sometimes people make mistakes. That's okay. I can wash my hands. Will you stretch out hands? I don't have enough room here. I'm going to go back underneath. Hands. Let's reread it to see if we wrote all the words. I can wash my hands. Do we need something? Oh, punctuation. Do you want your sentence to say, I can wash my hands? Or, I can wash my hands. Me too. I wanted to say it like that. I can wash my hands. So I put an exclamation point. Or some people say exclamation mark. Later, I would love to see you draw a picture of you washing your hands at your sink with your soap and your towel. Maybe you have a step stool. Do you have a little stool to step up on? Okay. And remember, you can write a lot more sentences with I can. Sight words are really helpful that way. So remember we were talking about Harry the Dirty Dog? 
Well, I just love him. He's a character in a book. The Scholastic has that book if you don't have it at your house. And I was wondering, can we make this look like Harry the Dirty Dog or Harry the Clean Dog? Okay, let's try it. You need, you know what this is? <laughs> Why is it funny? It's so funny. You need a toilet paper tube. Really, you could have two. Two would be helpful. I'm going to need two. And you, all you need is one black crayon or black marker. So this is going to turn into a dog. Why don't you watch me first? What does a dog need? Yes, he needs some eyes. One, two. And I already read the book, and I know Harry is always looking around. So I'm giving him big eyes like this. Like he's looking. And Harry is always smelling things. That's the kind of dog he is. So I'm going to make him have a nose like this. And I'm going to give him a little mouth. And when Harry's family calls him, he hears them. So what does he need? He needs ears. So I want some ears, but I didn't have any paper right here. So I'm going to use part of this toilet paper tube. I'm going to smoosh it down. You might need a grown-up. If you do, ask your grown-up to help you. And I am going to cut this. Ta-da! And now, guess what? It's just paper we can use. And I want to draw two floppy ears. You know how dogs have floppy ears? My dog has, my dog Daisy has floppy ears. Oh, I dropped my tube. I'll be right back. Did you miss me? Okay, I'm doing two floppy ears. One floppy ear, two floppy ears. You can color your floppy ears, but I'm trying to do this quickly. And get your scissors. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clip, clip, clip. I did a trick and I cut both of them. Ah, floppy ears. And then he's a spotted dog. I'm going to do spots. He's white. Your toilet paper tube might be white. Mine is kind of brownish. That's okay. Now, we want to put these ears on. You can glue them on, but today I'm going to tape them. Do you have tape like this at your house? You might have a different kind of tape, but I'm going to just put a little bit of tape and go over. Ta-da! One floppy ear and two floppy ears. Do you love Harry the Dirty Dog? Then, after you read the story, you could put dirt on Harry or spots on Harry, or you could make a different kind of dog. You don't have to make this kind of dog. And I made one before you got here. Dun, dun, dun. I added little paws. You can use a toilet paper tube to make a dog. Could you make a different kind of dog? Could you make a different kind of animal? Do you love Harry the Dirty Dog? You're going to love this story. I know you will. I'm going to sit my Harry the Dirty Dog right back here. Now, Harry needed to take a bath. That was part of this uh, story. What time do you take a bath? So, you know it's important to wash your hands. It's important to take a bath and wash your hair. Maybe not every night, maybe every other night. But I was wondering, what time do you take a bath? Oh, 7 o'clock. I have a clock. This clock says 4 o'clock. The short minute hand is pointing to the 4, and the long hour hand is pointing straight up to the 12. Today, we're going to think about telling time to the hour. And after Pinder Kinder, I want you to look around your house. Do you have any clocks like this with numbers? Do you have any clocks that have fancy numbers? I want you to think about clocks. I bet there are some in your house. I like to wear a watch. I have a lot of watches. You might even say I have a collection of watches because I just love watches so much. But let's see, 
7 o'clock. Someone said they take a bath at 7 o'clock. Let's find 7 o'clock on this clock. The hand, now, this one isn't a real clock. It's a fake clock, and I'm going to move it around. 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock. That's when we eat dinner. Wonder what time you eat dinner. Notice the clock tonight. Ask your grown-ups, what time is it? And then it's going to go around 7 o'clock. It takes the long minute hand one hour to go around. It takes the short hour hand one hour to go to the next hour. 7 o'clock is when some people take a bath. I want you to start thinking about this clock. Yesterday, we made a number line on Pinderkinder. If you didn't see it, just go back and check it. You might want to see it. It's the day we made a jellyfish out of a paper bag and we thought about the ocean, but we made a number line. Do you know what a clock is? A clock is a number line in a circle. It has these numbers. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I hope you will think more about telling time. Telling time is awesome. And you can think of, during the day, you're home here, you're staying home. You can notice the clock a lot. You might even have a digital clock on your microwave or on your stove. Keep thinking about it. I was wondering, did you hear the joke about the germ? I'm not telling you, I don't want to spread it around. <laughs> oh. So we wash our hands because we don't want to spread germs around. This joke, okay, today, so when you tell your grown up this joke, do not say the part about, do you want to hear a joke? Today, you're just going to go up to your grown up, wait till they're done work, wait till they're relaxing, maybe at the dinner table, and say this to your don to your grown-up. Did you hear the joke about the germ? And then they will say, no, I didn't hear the joke about the germ. Will you tell me? And you say, I'm not telling you. I don't want to spread it around. <laughs> oh, okay, let's practice. I'll get my pointer. Read with me, please. Did you hear the joke about the germ? And then wait a minute, wait for them to answer. And then you say, I'm not telling you, I don't want to spread it around. That's a good one, trust me. Somebody's going to laugh when you tell them that. And somebody's going to smile. Touch your elbow. Skidamarink-a-dink-a-dink. Skidamarink-a-doo. I love you. Skidamarink-a-dink-a-dink. Skidamarink-a-doo. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. So skidamarink-a-dink-a-dink. Skidamarink-a-doo. I love you and you and all of you. Stay safe, wash your hands, and tell someone a joke.